like trying to be um, junior lifeguards and every morning we have to come out and we do a uh, warm out. We run like to the pier and back. This is our first year for the junior guard program here in Dania. We're super excited to have it. It's such a good way for the kids to learn about what we do out here and I think a lot of the parents too because I think uh, people's concept of lifeguarding is hasn't caught up with what we actually do today. The junior lifeguard program is ages 7 to 17. We're just trying to teach kids ocean awareness, environmental science, and just good ocean skills to be more comfortable in the water. The kids get to learn medical school skills and rescues with each other, and it's all like a great fitness for them too. They're outside, they're not on video games and whatever. You can't go more than five feet in Florida without there being a puddle, a canal, a lake. So many of the communities are like lake communities, waterfront communities, canals, like I said. So anytime you teach them these skills, you're giving them comfort in the water. A lot of the kids you see the first day, they're kind of afraid, but especially when you put them in a group setting, they get a lot of confidence and you give them the tools to learn how to do it. And they also have each other to rely on. And you'd be so surprised. We have very, very little kids that within the first day, we give them a buoy and they're able to actually rescue each other. I learned how to use the boards, rescuing people and kayaking. So it's kind of getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. So that feeling of having a strap on you and the weight of someone else, but also recognizing when someone's in trouble and how to help them and stuff like that. So I have no doubt that these kids, if anything were to happen to them, if they fell off of a boat, a kayak or whatever, we're giving them a lot of skills to be okay. Like they won't panic. We have kids that were very reticent to jump off of a kayak out there on the reef. And by the first day, they're having so much fun. They're swimming around. They're not scared at all anymore. I can barely contain them. So it's really good. We probably could save someone in the water because they're teaching us the dolphin, which is like the running and swimming. They're teaching us how to use the buoys, uh, the rescue boards, and all that. If you join this club, you, you learn the skills of not only being a lifeguard, but for like to be a doctor or a nurse. You can see right now, like just having them go out in the reef, some of the older kids are taking responsibility over the younger kids, helping out, them out as well. So it teaches, teaches young ones to be comfortable in the water, and it teaches the older kids also be responsible and look after the younger kids while in the environment. It's just a great program, just a great way to get started, the fundamentals of becoming a lifeguard and just just the basics of how to get started, I'd say. They teach us many stuff, how to do paddleboard. They teach us how to use the buoy and how do you save people in case of they're drowning. We just go around the waves, that's all we do. And we basically have to do drills. It's very tedious work, but I mean, like, if you want to be a lifeguard, there's no easy way to get to be a lifeguard. That's very important. It's just not the ocean we have around us, but you have all the canals and lakes. Just kids, we're trying to make them a lot comfortable, let them know the safety side of it, of always try to swim the shore or anything like that. They taught us, like, how to get out in the water really far. Like, if someone's drowning and we have to go save them, we have to run out, and then when it gets a little deeper, we have to do like the dolphin swim and get there really fast. And then we put the soft buoy, we clip it around them, and then we have to swim back. They really get to see what we do on a daily basis, and it's a great like team atmosphere for them too. You really start to see the older kids having leadership opportunities because they help with the younger ones, and you don't even have to ask them. It's just a very natural progression. So it's a great way for people to find out if this is a career they're interested in. But even if not, they're out there and they get to see the reef and creatures. They do have to know how to swim, but they don't have to be a competitive swimmer and they don't have to have the best stroke. They just have to be comfortable in the water and we'll work with the rest. I like this camp because it's we get our work in so we can get fit, healthy. And then we also have fun because we just went out there to the reef, just past the pier. We saw some fish. We uh, did a lot. All of us went out on kayaks and boards. It's just a lot of fun here. The lifeguards are nice. We, they give us breaks. We can play music. And that's really it. Definitely have a very professional team. And they're highly trained. They go through USLA, which is United States Life Saving Association. They've gone through um, officers, candidate school, which gives them the credibility to teach lifeguarding. And two of them are actually certified to teach uh, Red Cross lifeguard and CPR. We do have guards that are working in on duty while we're running the program. They get to see the action live. We had bird rescues going on and the kids are able to jump in and be hands-on and help us out with stuff. So it's pretty cool. 
we're going to be able to give the kids that are interested in certifications and higher level kids that are a little more advanced and older if they're interested in progressing we're kind of able to work with them one-on-one -on -one, so I think that's something that's unique about our program. The older kids will try to get them certified and hopefully eventually work on this beach if not we'll um have them work other beaches, but we'd like to just kind of promote our profession as well. I'm very proud to work for Dania Beach when I started. This was my first beach and we're very small. A lot of people don't actually know about us, but I think compared to all the beaches around, we probably have a more intense program for what we do. For the size of our staff, we have a very dedicated staff. We have more equipment than anyone I know. And we're able to offer more because we are a small area. It's very contained here, so the area is more pristine. We have a nicer reef. Dania Beach, it's a great place. I love it. The little beach is just amazing. The program is like the best thing I've ever seen. The best thing I've ever come across. And the fact that I have this for the whole summer is just awesome.